Okay, so we've downloaded and installed Python. Now we need a text editor, some way to actually write code. And it absolutely does not matter which text editor you use. I mean, you can use Windows Notepad if you want. I don't recommend that you do that, but you absolutely could. The one that I use and have used for years is called Sublime Text, and that's what we're gonna be using throughout this course. Uh, there's another one called Notepad++. It's also very good too, uh, but really, any text editor you are familiar with or you're comfortable with or you just wanna use, you can use. They all work pretty much the same. It's just a matter of personal preference. So I'm gonna to go to Google and type in Sublime Text. And the first thing that comes up is gonna be sublimetext.com. So we can click on this and version three, it looks like is the latest version. Whatever the latest version is, you can use that. So click the download button for Windows or if you're on a Mac or Linux, you'll get a different button, I'm sure. But here's, here it is right here. It's sort of a animation of the thing. So so go ahead and click this and it just automatically selects the file for us. Download it to your desktop just like we did with Python and double click it to install it. You could just do the defaults. I'm not going to do it. I've already installed it on my computer, but it should be very, very straightforward and you shouldn't have any problems if you're on a Linux or a Mac as well. So this is Sublime Text. It is completely free, but they'll ask you, you get a little pop up every once in a while asking for a donation. Uh, you don't have to give a donation. You can keep using it forever. But you know, if you like it, if you use it every day, I'm a programmer. I use this all day, every day. Uh, you know, I would think about throwing them a couple of dollars for it. But like I said, you can use it for free. Uh, the other one I mentioned was Notepad++. Plus Plus. It's at notepad-plus-plus.org. And it's a similar editor. It's by default, it has a lighter background where the sublime text has a darker background. I think both of them, you can change the color scheme to whatever you want, but just out of the box, it's this is white. So if you prefer that, go ahead and do that. <laughs> you know, it, it really doesn't matter what text editor you use, it's just a matter of personal preference and style. So uh, once you've got that downloaded and set up, we're pretty much good to go. So in the next video, we're gonna jump in and set up our virtual environment. Virtual environment basically lets us install all the files we need in a virtual sort of walled garden in case we do something stupid, it won't screw up the rest of our computer. So uh, sort of a best practice type thing. And we'll do that in the next video.